Honorable, the Honorable Opio Wandai, Minority Leader, to put us in the proper picture of how it is. Aya, aya, Erokamana Enya, Jabura, Nekanisa, Baba, Gwilo Madongo Dongo Manakan, all protocol observed. Adam Mondawachi, Nika Uno Wanka, Tawangi Kuyo Malija Enya, Kuom Gimosa Timore Kumua, Koko Kieluet Police, Marken. And let me say this very, very briefly that what we are talking about here is a real situation of real deaths of real Kenyans in the hands of the Kenyan police without any shade of doubt. Without any shade of doubt. And I want to say this, that the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jafet Komi, cannot, cannot, in broad daylight, tell Kenyans that he's going to use the implements, the equipment, the tools that Kenyans have bought through their taxes to harm Kenyans again. That it was never the intention of the drafters of our constitution. Indeed, it was never the intention of, intention of Kenyans when they adopted the 2010 constitution that the National Police Service would be transformed into a tool to not only oppress the citizens but to kill them. Secondly, we want the whole world to know that we are putting together a very strong case and we shall be demonstrating that these acts of aggression by the National Police Service agents and their collaborators were planned and that there was a clear chain of command and that they were targeted at specific groups especially the Luo ethnic group. We are going to demonstrate that. And more importantly, we want to caution the International Criminal Court that on the Kenyan situation, it is not just enough for the ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, to recuse himself from the Kenyan situation. What we want is an assurance from the presidency of the ICC that the ICC is going to remain impartial. It's going to remain impartial on the matter of the Kenyan situation from the beginning to the end. As I conclude, I want to read the names of Kenyans very, very brave Kenyans who have been killed by police bullets during these mandamanos. And some of them were buried last weekend, some of them were buried this weekend, and others shall be buried later on. And these are Kenyans from all corners of the country, even, if, even though the, a, a great majority of them are from here. So allow me to read these names and especially as a way of also <laughs> commiserating with their families. And very, very quickly, so if you allow me, a uh, one uh, Moses Otieno Were, Jamaso Mwenge Kikike Njogo and Police and Unigo. Kuruchi Kuri Yitu. Moses Otieno Were from Ugenya. Douglas Kalasinga. Lugari, George Morgan, Ikolomani, John Okoth, Alego Usonga, Unego.
Robert Ouko Diambo, Suna East, John Benjamin Imbi, Luanda, John Ochego Chieng, Ogunja, Austin Ouma Steve, Ogunja, Elio Tieno, Bondo, Harris Ochieng, Game, Fanuel Ochieng, Game, David Omondi, game. Moses Onyango, Kendubei, Karachuanyo. Stephen Okinyi Ochieng, Suna West. Brian Oniango, Luanda. William Amulele, Kisumu West. Eliam Michael Oduor, Ugenya. Richard Mutuku, Baringo Central. Jeremiah Mwengi, Mwingi South, Solomon Bobobat, Nyakach, Rogers Omondi, Rangwe, Homabay County, Jack Ogana Nyangwala, Bondo, Venesta Odiambo, Migori Uriri, Regan Otieno, Suna East Migori Frederick Omonyo Suna East Migori Edwin Owino Omondi Rarieda Siaya David Agan Game Sylvester Owino Game Walter Odoyo Awonda Kisumu Central David Ocheng Ouma Ragen Nyando Eric Omondi Abok Kisumu Central Frank Opio Odiambo Seme Bernard Ocheng Otana Rongo Peter Wanjala Kitale Benson Otieno Ouma Suna East, I can go on and on and on. Some of these Kenyans have already been buried. A number of them, we are still compiling their records. We, ex we estimate that by the end of this exercise, we shall have lost not less than 60 Kenyans. And these are real Kenyans with real names, with real places of abode. Thank you, the Honorable Opio and I. We want to challenge the Inspector General Komi. Tell us which of those names read by Opio and I, who was not killed by the police, who died of other causes and was hired to be included there. We challenge you to tell us which is that body that we hired to be paraded. You have charge of the investigations. Come and arrest us and charge us and tell us who we fought we paraded. And what we are saying here, it is not just us. It is not just our principles. Amnesty International has investigated and confirmed. The Independent Medical Legal Unit has confirmed. The Law Society of Kenya has confirmed. The Kenya Human Rights Commission has confirmed. For the avoidance of doubt, let me now invite the Deputy Director of the Kenya Human Rights Commission, Mr. Cornelia Sudur, to come and speak to you and confirm these facts. I'm also no Uru. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable, I 